Let's move it to yeah. Manchester City, yeah. uh, who are getting all the wins. Four straight wins in, in four games, only unbeaten team in the league. Uh, again, setting the standard, although normally they don't start quite as, as, as well and then hit for mid, mid-season mid and kick on. Um, mm. This w- could and was you know, not, not an easy game at 1-0, 1-1. Uh, so I followed got back into the game, but... I'm going to point you to the second goal, Rob, because there's been a lot of talk about the... I think it's the RK header that... Is it Akanji who's in front of the goalkeeper as the ball gets headed towards yeah. goal? And it went to VAR yeah. and VAR yeah. suggested that he wasn't interfering or wasn't in the line of sight of the goalkeeper. So, so nope. the, the goal stood. Yeah. Uh, a lot of Fulham fans mm. unhappy. A lot of general people thinking that that... Mm. isn't right, shouldn't be right, mm. and that as he jumps out the way, it affects the way the goalkeeper... I've got to be honest, Rob, yeah. I feel the same. Yeah. It don't quite look and feel yeah. right to me. I know yeah. that you might say you can see the ball, but anybody who's jumping past the ball that I'm going to dive at is affecting me. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I couldn't agree more, Rob. And when... when Because this is one of the, that window with all the games yeah. going on at the same yeah. time, Rob, yeah. and I know that you showed the highlights, mm. and I'm sat at home because I wasn't, I wasn't in the studio this weekend, mm. And I'm like, oh, 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 he's offside. The, mm. the guy there's offside. Mm. And then, of course, you, you, we didn't make a big thing of it. I'm like, well, he must yeah. have touched the ball. And I, and I had a quick look at the replays. And, well, yeah, he's not really interfered. He's not in the, in the sight of the goalkeeper. Yeah. But, I, but I agree. And I think there is something in the offside law where, you know, if you're close to the ball, you know, he absolutely... I mean, how does the, goal, the goalkeeper the goal is changing his ability play. to play to it's, play it's the affects, ball? Yeah, it, it does. It does because he doesn't know if he's going to yeah. if he's going to get a deflection on it. So he has mm. to set himself for a deflection. If he is not anywhere near that ball and yeah. has no possibility of playing it, mm. he, he, he 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 dives. He's a better attempt to save to stop it, that ball yeah. in a different way. way. So yeah. I I, mm. I totally agree. And I thought when you, when we didn't show it a lot, and I thought well, yeah, well, we, he, it was one of those days where you know that ten o'clock window was so busy, and had to get to stuff but yeah the more I saw it and, yeah. and went and, and looked at it a couple of times yeah. last night don't, don't, like, I, don't I understand right. why Marcus mm. Silver and Fuller are not happy mm. um, a man who is happy mm. Erling Haaland um, hat-trick second half hat-trick again for, for, for the monster who just keeps continues to, to you know break records and improve new numbers um, ominous signs Rob for, for, for the league and for, for the others the, the, the rest mm. of the pack yeah, yeah, it is. It is, Robin. You know, we, we, the, the, the deadline, right, has, has gone through now, mm. the transfer deadline. And, you know, I know at the start of the season, we have our prediction yeah. of who's going to win the title. And, you know, I felt, I, I thought Arsenal could do it. Um, given the windows shut now and the way that City have added, you know, they've mm. added a couple of yeah. players kind Doku, of late they? that they Doku don't Doku normally played, yeah. do. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it, you know, they've replaced, you know, I like the Nunes, Nunes kid from Wolves, yeah. Mateus yeah. Nunes, Rob. Good, good you business, know, I think he's yeah. a different sort mm. of wiry, athletic, you know, little dribbles out of situations between what they've bought now. And I know they've mm. lost, you know, a couple of players. I just, I can't see anybody beating him, Rob. I can't. Yeah. And, I, and I'd love to stick with Arsenal. But I think, you know, if we were asked a question again, mm-hmm. given the window shut, and we always say that at the start, yeah. you know, let's go again at, at um, when the window closes. You know, when you think about the physicality and, and being over there, going over there to watch yeah. them play and the physicality of that team, Rob, and we saw them at Burnley on the opening mm. weekend of the season, the opening day on that Friday, and given what they've done in the market late, mm. I, I just, I, I, you know, when you've got that, that guy up front, Rob, yeah. and, and he's, he's hungry to bang in the goals, you've got a better oh. defensive line with Guardiola that's, that's slotted in pretty nicely. Yeah, yeah. Um, you've got some of the best defenders in the league right across there, plus backups. You've, you've added to the midfield's got a different take now on it. Gavin De Bruyne is still out. Phil Foden's kind of looked like he's ready to step up and mm. be that connecting player to the striker up front. You've got Doku, who's got, the quickest man in the world. He's, a drib- he's got a brilliant dribbling yeah. record and stats on that side of things plus everybody else I just yeah I, you know again I didn't I, I, and this by the way I didn't even look really closely at this game because no. we had the Chelsea game I think yeah, that was yeah. a 10 o'clock window all the games going on at the same time your head's exploding when, you, when I've got the screens <laughs> and stuff. so I can't study it closely but the numbers tell you the squad tells you the market tells you mm. what they've done what they've added what they've lost and what they've brought in I, you know they're going to mm. be they're going to be very very difficult to beat this year I think they're going to win it again yeah and you know Pep's 
been off with his back for a couple of weeks, but normal service resumed. He gets a break, yeah, the, the international yeah, yeah. break. He comes back, mate, and they'll be they'll be ready to go again. And mm. yeah, I mean, I said it from day one. I mm. still think you know, even without a great start, they're, yeah. they're going to be. And, and it, yeah, we're yeah. looking now at teams that, that might be up the close. We talk about Liverpool, talk about Arsenal, big wins today. Are they going to be able to go close yeah. to the City team yeah. and push them? Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.